What's up Ragnarok fans? In this video, I am going to share my full support build for a priest. As a full support, basically I focus on tankiness, having skill cooldown reductions, and having fast channeling of skills therefore the main challenge in the early part of being a priest is to get the haste stat and the pumping of our HP this one is just a free to play account so I guess again don't expect that much but if you are liking what you see then stick to this video because i'm going to share my full support build as a priest first things first i would suggest you make another loadout for your full support build the third loadout will cost you 5,000 crystals. For these stats, I'm using the DPS debuff preset. So why I'm not using the healer and support preset? Because this one doesn't have a VIT. In my opinion, as a support, VIT is also important. For my equipment, I'm using the Golden Thief Bug set that is currently upgraded to Tier 1. For my headwork costumes, I'm using this one that has a bonus heal receive of 3% and M attack which is additional 3% which is a very good for a healer class. I got this one randomly via some headwear gift packs through events. For my mouth costume, which has also an M attack of 1%, I got it for free by doing the quest of this guy, Akan in Frontera. For the enchants, of course, int and dex will be good for our equipments and those AG or STR, I'm going to replace them soon. Vit is also okay for me and I'd rather take Vit than AG or STR. For cards on the weapon, we need to aim for haste. Because haze will decrease the cooldown reduction and skill channeling of our skills. For the armor set, I'm planning to put pure HP on them. So, this damage resistance or defense, I'm going to change them into HP once I have those cards. So my total HP right now is 35,000 and a haste of 532. And here are my skill distribution. So my heal right now is already level 10. I'm using level 10 configuration. And at level 10, it's almost 2 seconds already, which is equivalent to the fixed cooldown. If your heal skill cooldown is greater than 3 seconds or more, you will need to lower it down such that it becomes 2 seconds only at minimum. Blessing level 10, increase AG level 5. I'm going to max this soon. Kairi is a very important skill, level 10. 
That's why we need to pump our HP so that Kairi is more effective on us. Light Blessing, level 10, another important skill. Resurrection at level 1 only, that's enough already. Actually, level 2, I'm going to max this soon. Angelus, level 5. So, Angelus is dependent on your beat for an extra additional increase. That's why I said you need beat. Same thing with Asamsho. Aspersio, going to put 1 soon for the DPS on the party. Gloria to max level if there are still uh, extra points. For the auto battle setting, auto normal attack should be turned off. Resurrection should be turned off. This one should be done manually. Sanctuary should be turned off. Again, this one should be done manually. For my custom skills, I put Blessing, Angelus, and Gloria into one combo. And lastly, don't forget to use Yellow Potion for a stronger self-healing. And there you go guys. So that is my Priest Full Support build at the moment. Any adjustments in the future, I will let you know. For now, you can just follow that one and you'll have a very simple and easy job when it comes to dungeon fights. Thank you and bye-bye.